My name is Dean Marchiori. I'm the director and principal data scientist at Wave Data Labs. So we're a data analytics consultancy focusing on statistical modeling and data analytics. Uh, you know, I wanted to go deeper into the technical aspects of data analysis and statistics. Uh, I was already in a data science career, but I've always sort of identified more as a statistician than a, a computer scientist or a developer. Uh, I've also worked with a number of colleagues who had completed the Master of Applied Statistics at Macquarie. So yeah, it just sounded like a right fit for the specialization I wanted and where I wanted to go with my career. As a student, yeah, it was great. Uh, it, it was very challenging, which, you know, is what I expected. Uh, there was a real sense of achievement having completed it at the end. Um, I enjoyed interacting with other students. Um, in my case, that was mostly online. Um, but I've actually made some real sort of lasting connections with some students that have gone beyond the classroom, which is really nice. Yeah, you know, with this degree, there was a really strong focus on theoretical foundations for all the subjects, which was you know, technically really difficult, but there was also a dual focus on applying this practically. Uh, that was usually through the R programming language, and that's, you know, it just makes you instantly valuable and hireable to many data science firms out there. So that, that was a really good plus. A lot of challenges in industry in particular, um, you know, they're not, they're not simple to solve. If they were really simple to solve, you know, they wouldn't require a specialist to solve them. So you really need to go to that kind of next level of difficulty. And, and, and that means really deeply understanding the subject matter and, and not just being able to apply cookbook style, um, you know, some techniques uh, or just using a tool, but it's actually deeply understanding the theory behind it as well as using a tool that's in practice every day in industry, um, a relevant tool that's being used by practitioners, not just in academia. And I think the, the degree looks like it's been updated and the content was really fresh and it was using sort of more cutting edge tools, particularly in the R programming language that, that develops really rapidly being an open source tool. Uh, it's really quickly to kind of get left behind and being used and using sort of previous generation tooling, but the content um, I found was was you know really up to date and, and really super relevant to to what's being used in industry. The teaching staff had really diverse academic backgrounds and they were all able to tap into their expertise to get down to the required level of depth required for a technical master's program. I found them all to be really highly knowledgeable, responsive and approachable and you know a lot of the classes are actually quite fun. They were actually quite fun to interact with uh, and that made it a bit easier during lecture and, and group activities. You, you know, you tend to find there are some students that like to participate more in lectures and be a little bit more outspoken and there are some that prefer to, to sit back. Uh, and I find there's, there's always enough there that if you want to make a connection, you can. It was really good going on campus for exams and being able to meet up face to face um, when, when we're able to do so with students. And since then, we've even gone to career networking functions and things together. Um, you know, so it was really good. Uh, I guess it was a tight knit course. It felt like the class sizes were small, um, which meant that you, I think you formed more of a bond with people over the years you do it, um, particularly if you just happen to be doing subjects at the same time. And, um, you know, that I think that enriched the experience. There were sort of the, the small group teaching activities that we did each week um, with each class. So that, that was that was particularly good. A lot of the work was 
are, you know, very individual driven. So, um, you know, you really need to pull yourself through it, but you, you always kind of felt there was support there. Um, you, you know, particularly if you're getting online delivery, there's, you know, forums and, and other places where you can go to ask questions and get support. And I tend to find that often it's, it's other students that tend to jump in and, and help out more than just the subject conveners. So, you know, you always feel like, yeah, you know, you're not, you're not sort of doing it alone, which is good. Yeah, I think, you know, there was a real wide variety of interesting electives to do. Uh, you know, the subjects themselves I found weren't focused on, you know, hype or, or, or current trending tools and trends in data science. They were more about, you know, more core fundamental concepts that power most of sort of modern statistical modeling, ML or AI applications. So, you, you know, it kind of made the degree feel sort of future proof in a way and more substantial than, than some sort of newer data science offerings in the market that, that tend to age really quickly. So, um, you know, I think it's perhaps a fairly traditional degree, applied statistics in a fairly rapidly moving field, but I kind of felt, yeah, it had that future-proof element to it. Yeah, you know, there was there was a couple of, well, there was one foundational subject in particular where, um, you know, a major research report had to be completed. So it was, you know, a lot different to just the standard coursework where you're just churning out assignments and studying for an exam. That felt really different and it felt much more aligned to completing, uh, you know, a research project in industry. There was lots of rapid feedback and rapid prototyping uh, that needed to happen. Um, a lot of focus on tooling, so not just writing out a report in, um, in, in Word, but using technical um, scientific writing tools uh, to combine the code and the prose together. Um, so that, that really took it from sort of like a pristine academic setting to, you know, a bigger, uglier kind of real life problem is how it felt. Uh, and I found that was really useful to try and consolidate, you know, a lot of the theoretical learnings. You know, the data science field is rapidly evolving, I guess, which is why it's so exciting. But, you know, underlying it is a core of statistics. So focusing on, you know, the classical statistical methods in such an applied program, it really felt like I got the best of both worlds. You're sort of learning to understand and apply complex analytics methods to real world problems. But at the same time, you're kind of deeply understanding the mathematical basis for those methods. In, in my opinion, you know, that makes you much more discerning around the methods and approaches to complex problem solving and, and moves you far beyond just being a, a tool user. And I think, you know, in industry, there's no question worth solving that's ever easy or trivial. So this degree really helped me kind of move to that next level, which I thought was, um, you know, a, a real motivation behind it again. Yeah, look, my advice would be just, just to go for it. Um, you know, there's many different delivery options and ways you can tailor it. So if you're worried about the workload, I would just say to speak to Macquarie about flexible delivery options. You know, I certainly balance this with full-time work and a young family. You know, it wasn't easy. I, I think you need to invest a lot of time to get the benefits out of it. So you need to be prepared to find the right balance and to set yourself up so that you can give it the required attention you need to, but that's all manageable. And I think it's really important to set it up so you enjoy the process too, and you don't just get through it, but you actually uh, take some time to, to really gain the benefits of, of the coursework, but, but also the interactions and the networks that you build.